Hello everyone. Today we're continuing with our One Order series. Today we're looking at the oxides of chlorine. The oxides of chlorine include hypochlorite, chlorite, chlorate, and the perchlorate ion. The formula for each of them is given below the names. I want to quickly remind you about the bond order formula as well. The bond order formula is given as the number of bonds divided by the number of domains. The structure is also given here. However, I want to quickly remind you that when you're doing the Lewis dot structure, you need to put your lone pairs of electrons and also your bonding pairs of electrons. But I'm using these structures to do this really quick and fast. In the first structure, if you realize here, we have a single bond between the chlorine and the oxygen. Once there's a single bond, then you know that the bond order is one. However, if you want to use the formula, then you're going to say a bond of one, and there's also one domain. So therefore, the bond order will be given as one divided by one, which equals to one. In the second structure, you notice that there is a total of three bonds, and you have one, two domains. Therefore, the bond order will be given as 3 divided by 2, which equals to 1.5. In the third structure, which is the chlorate ion, we have a total of five bonds, two double bonds and a single bond. And we have one, two, three domains. So therefore, the bond order formula will be given as 5 divided by 3, which equals to 1.67. In the perchlorate ion, we have a total of 7 bonds, 3 double bonds, and a single bond. And we have 1, 2, 3, and 4 domains. Therefore, the bond order will be given as 7 divided by 4, which equals to 1.75. Now, there are a few things I want to point out right here. Once the structure can form resonance, the number of domains equal to the number of resonance as well. Because you could shift the single bond around these three oxygen, for example, in the chlorate ion, it can be shifted between all three um, oxygen atoms. I also want to point out that if you notice in these structures, what I'm comparing is the CLO bonds. And you also realize as you increase the number of double bonds, you realize that the bond order also increase, which is an indication that as it had double bonds, the bond becomes stronger. All right, so those are a few pointers you can look at and um, use it in terms of guiding you when you're doing the bond order and Lewis structure. All right, so I hope this was helpful. See you soon. Take care. Have a blessed day.